Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the find words that can be found by characters problem. This is a lead code easy and the number for this is 1160. And if you are going to watch the video till the end, you, are, you will be easily going to solve this question. And how we are going to solve this question? Let's do that. But before that, we have to see what the problem is. So in this problem, we are given an array of string words and a string cares. A string is good if it can be found by the characters from the cares and can be used only once and we have to return the sum of length of all the good strings in the world so if we can uh, form a string which is given in the words array from the cares uh, string uh, then it is going to be a good string and we have to count the length of that string so let's see through an example how we are going to solve let's take uh, an example this first example cat bt hat tree and the cares are a t a c h so first of all what we are going to do is that we are going to initialize the character count array this will be of size 26 from a to z and then in this we are going to count the number of characters in the cat and then we are simply going to count each of the characters in this don't go on these these are now for now sample values put into the characters array uh, actually you are going to count uh, like for a it will be 2 for c it will be 1 for h will it will be 1 for t it will be 1 so it is how it is going to be updated <coughs> and then for our check words we are going to create a uh, we are going to create a function and this function will check if the word in the string words can be formed using the cares so we'll pass this count array which we have created along with the word and for every character in the word we'll reduce the count array and if it becomes zero then we are going to return uh, true uh, otherwise we are going to return false that means cat can be formed so we are going to return true bt cannot be formed because there is no b in the care array so for this b will be actually zero so whenever b will be encountered uh, we cannot do a b minus minus there because b is already zero so this becomes false and similarly for uh, every uh, string which is which gives true we can count the length and then add and return the answer so cat will be formed hat will also return true so three and three so answer becomes six and this is how we are going to solve so let's start with the code section but before that Remember to like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. So the main goal is to find the sum of length of the string that can be formed using the characters from the given string cares. And we need to check each string in the words array. So this is the problem. So first of all, uh, we'll create a counts array as I've told you. It will be your size, word size, 26 because there are 26 alphabets. So now we have to iterate in the cats array, uh, I mean cat strings and we have to count, so counts of uh, cats dot cat at i minus a this a is done to actually convert the uh, ASCII values into indexes so it is done to do the mapping because uh, for a it is if suppose the ASCII value of a is 65 and for c is 67 so when c minus a will be there so 67 minus 62 65 so it will be left with 2 and 2 will be the index of the C character so that's why minus A is being done here and then we are going to introduce a res this will store the result now for string S in words So we are going to pass the string along with the count which we have made so we are going to pass the count as well so rest plus equal to s dot length 
because we have to count the length and we can simply return the result from here so this is our function now we are only left to write the scan form function so we will write the can form function it will be of boolean type so can form it takes a string word and a int counts for the frequency of the characters Here we have to check if uh, the word is possible to form or not. So for that we are going to iterate on the words length. So word dot length. So there is some error, it, it is because we are treating it as an array but it is a string so let's try to submit it for the sample test cases. So the error is here again and we have treated it like an array. So the sample test cases are passed and let's try for the hidden test cases as well and let's talk about the time complexity as well. So the time complexity and is good and the memory complexity is fair because uh, if m is the length of the care and n is the length of the words in the array then the time complexity is o of m plus n and the space complexity is actually o of 1 because this thing which we are using is of size 26 which is constant so the memory becomes constant here and this was the complexity analysis for this solution i hope you like the video like the logic understood the logic if you have any suggestions please do write in the comment section thank you for watching the video have a nice day and do like the video and subscribe to the channel